Hey there, Sarah here, head magic maker at the Sisters Enchanted, where it's our mission to make magic mainstream and help women all around the world conjure joy in their lives through a little bit of everyday magic. And I am talking to you about Jupiter retrograde. All right, Jupiter goes retrograde in its home sign of Sagittarius on April 11th, 2019. So Jupiter, every planet, actually is ruled by a, or has a home sign. And Jupiter's is Sagittarius. And Jupiter has been in Sagittarius for quite some time now and is there pretty much throughout 2019. But come April 11th, we see Jupiter begin to do its backspin, its retrograde period in Sagittarius, in that home sign. So what we need to know about this retrograde and how you can make the most of it. Jupiter and abundance and Sagittarius in direction. These are things we want to keep in mind. So Sagittarius, the sign of Sagittarius, loves a good goal and loves to have a plan to meet that goal. And Jupiter calls abundance to you in whatever way you think you're already abundant. Whatever your abundance is focused on, that's where you're going to get more abundance and also loves to give you abundance when you are following your soul's desires, your innermost purpose and desires. So here, if we are in retrograde, this Jupiter retrograde, without a plan, without a plan in place to bring abundance in, that's not going to be such a great thing because in retrograde, we're going to see it be even more difficult to stick to a plan. So having a clear and steady plan, a steady path forward, a clearly defined path forward, path forward as to how you're going to bring in abundance of some kind is going to be really important. And then along the way, you might see bumps in the road and hiccups and and all these things that derail you from sort of bringing in abundance in whatever way you're working on bringing in abundance. And this could be a red flag that you're not following your innermost desires, your soul's purpose. So let's look at what some examples of this might be. If you are really focused on monetary financial abundance, which a lot of us are for good reason, but right now what you really need to be focusing on is an abundance of self-love, an abundance of self-care, an abundance of gratitude for what you already have, you might see those financial attempts to gain more financial abundance thwarted at every turn. And it's because we're not focused on the thing that our soul really needs us to be, to be moving toward right now. Uh, if, for example, you're focused on an abundance of weight loss, but really what you need to be focused on, your soul's desire, is to have an abundance of experience. You want to experience the world, but you're like pigeonholing yourself and just spending lots of time on this weight loss issue. You might see bumps in the road related to that. And we will get more abundance in the area we think we're already abundant in. So if we think we are abundant in poor health, if we think we're abundant in bills that need to be paid, that's what we're going to get more of. So we need to think to ourselves, what is my, what's my true inner desire here? What do I truly desire at a soul level? And how can I make a plan to help me bring that into being during this retrograde? And if we see things, our, our attempts being thwarted and things aren't going our way, that is a red flag to stop and reassess and think, how is what I'm doing right now helping me on my path towards my soul's purpose in abundance? What am I truly wanting to be abundant? in what do I truly desire and this retrograde period is going to maybe in a little bit of a chaotic way help us to see that path forward so uh, Jupiter retrograde in Sagittarius begins April 11th so prepare yourself and enjoy the ride because it's here to bring you lessons and you'll come out the other end with a clearer picture of what it is that you should be doing with your life and maybe what you should spend a little less time doing. Until next time, I'm Sarah of the Sisters Enchanted. Be sure to like our page, hit the follow button so you don't miss any of these updates, and I hope that you have a magical retrograde period ahead.